it builds your brand of one. I know a lot about um, cactus. You know, uh, I love to grow cactus. If I have to do a site on cactus or where we live, Anguilla, I can not only write well about it knowledgeably, but I can speak to people who know the niche and who understand that this guy really knows what he's talking about. So I'm building my brand of one. I'm building my credibility through just sheer great content. As that starts to happen, you start getting what's called off-page criteria. The on-page criteria, which is putting keywords in all the right spots on your page, basically, um, was enough in the old days. Before Google Alta Vista and even other engines were measuring things like how many inbound links. When somebody clicks on a link in a search engine results page, how long did they stay away before they came back? They were looking for other indications of not only was this relevant, but was it a good page? Did it meet our searchers' needs? The nice thing is most of that you don't need to really work on. If you develop great content, most of it happens, the exception being, of course, of building a good inbound links program. You really need, as well as building good content, to develop a good inbound links program from a variety of different resources. So that doesn't mean just get a listing in Yahoo or a directory, but from a variety of resources, get quality inbound links that tells the search engine that, hey, people like this site. They like it enough to link to it. And that starts rising your site the way a tide raises a boat um, in search in, in, for search engine results in general. So over time, Site Builder became this more and more comprehensive set of tools that showed you how to build content, that showed you how to build content that would drive traffic, that would pre-sell your traffic. And finally, now that you have hundreds and then thousands of pre-sold visitors per day, now you're ready to start to monetize that. So, again, uh, monetization is something that we cover, not assuming that you want to be an affiliate or an AdSense advertiser, but start taking you from where you are and in early days finding out what it is that you want to do and then enabling you, showing you, and giving you the tools to build a site that's going to enable you to turn that site into business. And that's still one of the biggest concepts that is not understood on the Internet, well, 15 years into it now, the difference between a site and a business. People still talk about putting up a site and about how easy it is to blog, and none of that has anything to do with building a business, with developing pre-sold traffic that you're going to be able to monetize. It's staggering how major web hosts, how, you know, the, the blogging craze. Everybody blogs because everybody else blogs. But what is blogging really? Blogging is really just building a website that's in a certain time-oriented, time-sensitive format. The reason that blogging took off was because a technology called RSS came along, and RSS enables you to distribute your content rapidly. People can subscribe to your blog and immediately know what it is that you blog. And that immediately knowing, of course, is important for the blogging world. Well, we took RSS and we were studying that early days, like you said, David, you know, we track a lot of major trends from very early on. Some of them come and go and just make a little noise and don't happen. And that's part of the value that we deliver to SBIers. Uh, a lot of what we deliver in terms of value is what we don't cover. They just don't need to know it, never needed to know it, and it came and went. Web 2.0 was clearly going to be important. And we said, okay, how do we take this and make it relevant for our small business person? The answer is in blogging. So uh, the, RSS is, the RSS was the key technology, not the blogging software. So what RSS enabled you to do, what enabled us to do, was take a typical site builder site, which is an evergreen, theme-based content site, which has momentum. The day that you stop blogging is the day that your traffic starts deteriorating because Google looks at most blogs as being time-sensitive. Um, theme-based sites are evergreen. You build your site, you build your link. It takes months, even years before you really start to see significant deterioration. However, let's incorporate RSS and enable us to distribute the information as people create new pages without them having to do a single thing more, a thing without having to become a blogger, without having to learn any of this technology. Immediately, they are able to have a blog page of their most recent pages, uh, have it distributed, have it pinged to the engine. You know, a lot of people don't understand how much there is underneath the hood of Site Builder because we try to make it look simple. It's like Tiger Woods. Look at that swing. It's so tight. It's so simple. Um, and that's what we do with Site Builder. Um, but underneath that, 
we were the first people to develop the, uh, the sitemap XML automatically from SDI's content. When Yahoo came up with a different format, that was out within a few days. When Yahoo changed and copied Google's format, well, copy went to Google's format, we were back with that. When Bing or Microsoft at the time, uh, Live came out with their version of it, we modified for that. We still have wrinkles in sitemap that nobody else does. So the key is make all this, con and if anybody's listening to this and has no idea what a sitemap.xml file is, you know, they don't need to. That's the whole point. Everything is taken care of behind the scenes so the average SDIer, if he's using, actually using tools, they're business tools. They're sending out an easing to your subscribers, and you should do both. Um, because you have a good subscribership in your, to your site or to your blog, uh, does not mean that you should also not have an easy. You know, so SBI encompasses everything to enable people to basically do what that very first product we talked about, Penny Gold, did. Uh, it has the content, the theory, and has all the tools to enable people to build businesses, not websites. A website is just your place of business. People mistake the place of business with the business. So in a nutshell, that's about as long, I guess, as your introduction, David. Um, <laughs> that's that's kind of like where we came from and where we've gone to over the 10 years that we've been doing this. And um, what amazes me is still nobody in the world does this. And it just makes so much sense to me. It's kind of like the Macintosh of web hosting. You have to make a disappear to enable the average person, the everyday person, uh, who knows something about something, whether it's Pilates or whether it's, you know, crocheting, um, whether it's, like I said, propagating turtles or cactuses, um, whatever it is that you know and love, um, you can create a e-business about that that is going to earn you income in a variety of ways. It may be selling a service, it may be selling a hard good, it may be through Google AdSense. Uh, you know, there's 15 major ways to, to monetize your traffic once you have the traffic. The key, of course, is getting that traffic and even more, pre-selling the traffic.